So do you want to tell us about what your role is at UWF and who all you kind of oversee? I would be more than happy to. I oversee all of the development and okay. fundraising for the Ooh. UWF. So I'm the head of the UWF Foundation Incorporated, which includes alumni affairs, uh, development, uh, as well as all of the financial components that come along with that. Uh, integrated marketing communication for the university, as well as WUWF mm -hmm. and the UWF Historic Trust as well. Excellent. Well, that's one of the things we wanted to talk about. We were talking a little bit earlier about how we didn't, some people didn't know a lot about the awesome assets we have in Pensacola. Oldest settlement in America. I don't right. care what you say, yeah. St. Augustine. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, Hurricanes wiped us out. That's not our fault. No. Yeah. All. Well, and I think it's fascinating also because it, so much of like DeLuna Fest is just tied to more of Mardi Gras activities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think right. it's really wonderful to highlight the fact that we do have so much history mm -hmm. here in this town and it goes so much more beyond um, and I love Fiesta and it's wonderful yeah. you know so much fun um, but it goes so much more beyond just parades right. it, does. it really it does. is we have so much rich history here oh, yeah. so and it's a really great way to connect the university to the downtown area it is. Mm -hmm. so do you want to tell us a little bit about what the all the new things that have happened at the UWF Historic Trust yeah I'd be more than happy to the UWF Historic Trust comprises eight and a half acres of downtown Pensacola wow, so from T.T. Wentworth to Old Christ Church that's a campus of the University of yeah. West Florida. Yeah. Students when, live there. We, yes, that, it's so awesome. We have, we have graduate students who live in mm -hmm. two of the houses. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them bayfront because you actually get your own porch overlooking nice. the bay. That's a tough uh, thing. Which is, yeah. yeah, that, that wasn't to go there. back to school. I know. Yeah. That. <laughs> that wasn't there when I was a grad student either. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can work something out, you know. That's right. <laughs> well, at least we come back, so well, there you go. Whether you're going into T.T. Wentworth for a tour or going through Pensacola, uh, historic Pensacola Village or having a beer at, at Pensacola Bay Brewery, mm -hmm. that's a, the, the historic Pensacola campus of UWF. And, and one of the things that we've really been focused on over the last two years is making certain that that presence is more founded in downtown mm -hmm. and that we as a university are making good on all of the opportunities that come along with that, both for cultural heritage tourism, mm -hmm. being good neighbors downtown, mm -hmm. and, and building that out for, uh, for commerce. It makes, we have an, a fascinating downtown mm -hmm. with some of the oldest architecture in America, some of the richest archaeological assets, and they're displayed by professional historians and archaeologists. Mm -hmm in a city that you wouldn't expect to see that right. in. Yes. From my perspective, that's something that we should be making more of an investment in. And we have. This year, we rebranded the organization. It was mm -hmm. formerly known as West Florida Historic mm -hmm. Preservation, Inc., which we have for a long time shortened to WIFB. Yeah, which it's a mouthful. That's it, really it is. as a and name, it, too. WIFB. Wif yeah. yeah. I know, you say, I work at WIFB. <laughs> you gotta do and, the hair flip with it. Uh -huh. And people probably thought that was a condition more than a, uh -huh. a set of assets. Sure. <laughs> exactly. And, and we went through a rebranding process that tried to find a name that said that this city has mm -hmm. sacred things and this mm -hmm. university is entrusted with those sacred things. And, and the UWF Historic Trust captures a lot of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. And we unveiled that logo in the fall mm -hmm. when we opened, reopened mm -hmm. the T.T. Wentworth Museum. We got yeah. a $500,000 BP grant that allowed us to put a world-class City of Five Flags exhibit into mm -hmm. the T.T. Wow. Wentworth. Wow, it's beautiful. We did keep some of those old exhibit items that people mm -hmm. love My and favorite, trust. favorite <laughs> item. <laughs> if you guys ever have gone before, they kept it and it's so exciting. T.T. Uh, Wentworth in his museum long ago, I'm sure our viewers remember it was this hodgepodge of items thrown it's everywhere. Like the thrift store you've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's perfect. And it was crazy, but one of the coolest artifacts is the petrified cat. That's what kids it remember. Is. Yes, sure. the petrified I mean that's what I remember and it's still there. They've kept it. It's still on the first floor. Go see the petrified cat. But we're here cat. to say that is not what TT Wentworth is like anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you go there, it's, it's way cooler really now. cool. They it's have beautiful. the the uh, city of five flags that tells you all about Pensacola's mm -hmm. history. It's really incredible. It's it's really appropriate for a lot of people of all ages. Mm -hmm. You know, you could take kids there, you could go there as an adult, and then Historic Pensacola mm -hmm. Village, oh, they yeah. do the death and mourning of Victorian mm -hmm. age, they do Christmas, mm -hmm. you tour all the houses, people wear the costumes, they yes. cook in traditional ways, and they have that garden. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. And of course, WUWF, we have Radio Live, yes. the first Thursday of every month, mm -hmm. I'm going to plug it, at the Museum <laughs> of Commerce. And if you haven't been to the Museum of Commerce, that's it's really cool, cool too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a gorgeous a, place. A lot of events there mm -hmm. at the Museum yeah. of Commerce. It's, you don't think it's there, it kind of reminds you of Disney. Yeah, that's where. It is. Right. Yeah, cool. I got married there, of course. You know I would. <laughs> I did not. You would. That yeah. would. That yeah. makes perfect she sense. Would. It does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and the other one of the other things we want to talk about brief on, briefly is the Next Exit History app, which is cool. We're taking history into the 21st century. So. Mm -hmm. We are you know, the cultural heritage tourist, for lack of a better term, the person who's interested in going around and learning about what went on in the United States or anywhere else for that mm -hmm. matter. 
we don't do it with a paper map anymore. We mm -hmm. want, we're looking for some more engagement. Mm -hmm. and, uh, historians at, in the Department of History at UWF invented this technology mm -hmm. over the last years, but now it's really been built it's out awesome. to be if you amazing. Haven't used it's it crazy. and you downloaded it, you wouldn't be like, oh, someone in our own backyard made this. Yes. It's really incredible. Yeah. When it I was is. a student there, they started this app. So I've literally watched it grow from an idea that a grad student and a professor came up with, you know? And now it's this thing that's on a national and a world level. It's so exciting to see yeah. my my little history department because I yeah. still love them. Still talking about them. I'm like, look at you guys. You guys are doing great things. So. Well, and you can plug it wherever you are in on the mm -hmm. app, and it tells you all the cool things that are around you. So if you're sitting at Bagel Heads, you can tap it, and it will tell you that one of the oldest shipwrecks in North America mm -hmm. is right off the coast wow. of Bagel Heads. Oh, wow, it's incredible. It's what cool is the name of the app again? Because I'm Next I'm not exit the, history. Yeah. Next, Next exit, exit yes. history. And you know, um, people who are new to town might want to check out that app. So we have somebody. Uh, special guest. You may have been wondering at this empty seat with this yes. <laughs> suspicious jersey on it. Go but, Argos. Uh, go Argos. Ooh, right? We have Coach Pete Shinnick from the University of West yes. Florida. Ooh. New head football coach. Yay. Come on down. Come on out, coach. <laughs> Katie, I think this will look good on you. You can wear this. Yes. Dress. I'm pretty sure this is my size. Awesome. Cool. You make that look good, Katie. Oh, 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 I think mean, one. We need like team dresses. We I know do. we need team dresses with our names on the back. You're gonna oh. wear that to work. <laughs> I might wear that to work. <laughs> Y'all should do like a signature like Argo drink. Oh, that, that would be cool. That would you be know, a I love it. We can have like a spirit night. <laughs> yes. That would be fun. And it's decided. And it's yes. actually, I feel like apropos because the first season is going to be played at the Wahoo Stadium. Yes. 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 So awesome. You're Very close. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're of age, you can go head up Old Hickory and right. go down to the stadium. So welcome. Tell yes. us yeah. yeah. about yourself. Well, very excited to be here, first of all. So, um, we uh, came to Pensacola about four months ago, got hired Ooh. as the head coach. I'd been in North Carolina for eight years prior to that. Oh, wow. Did the same mm -hmm. thing up in uh, UNC Pembroke, started a program mm -hmm. from scratch. Not wow. his first rodeo. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we'd like to hear that. Excited that Dr. Benz had the vision to want to start football mm -hmm. uh, here at UWF. Uh, met a lot of people in this process and have talked to a lot of people, you know, when was it going to happen? When was it going to happen? Yeah. Obviously, you hire a coach, and we got to get going now. Yeah. Right. So the season will actually start 2016, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Is that correct. right? Correct. We will play in 2016. Okay. That's Ooh. our first season. Awesome. Right. So what's like? The, so you're starting from scratch. What is kind of like the full process? I mean, we've got a while, 2016. Mm -hmm. What all entails with that? Well, for recruiting purposes, we're going to recruit a class that we will sign next February. Okay. okay. Uh, and that'll be a signing class for 2015. So mm -hmm. the guys who are just finishing up their junior season, going mm -hmm. into their senior year right. next year. Mm -hmm. That's who we're looking at right now. So I was able to hire two assistant coaches in May. Oh, cool. And we tried to hit every high school pretty much from Mobile to Tallahassee mm -hmm. and then kind of hit a spattering of high schools from mm -hmm. Montgomery all the way down to Orlando. Wow. Nice. Just trying to find young men who are mm -hmm. interested in playing football at UWF. How's that search yeah. going? Oh, it's been fantastic. Oh, we've yeah. got a lot of talent we down the back. We've got a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah I mean, so we've got some, like, homegrown country boys down <laughs> here. So we've got some and good. And wants to meet them all. Yeah, yeah she does. They'll be a little bit young. They'll be a little young. Uh, yeah. you know, well, right. <laughs> so uh, if, to go along with that, I hear you have a summer camp July 14th. Yeah for the juniors and seniors, is that right, in the area? We do, we have a one-day mm -hmm. camp mm -hmm. where really it'll probably be the first time that most anybody interested in mm -hmm. football's ever been on our campus. Mm -hmm. yes, if you think about it, we've got a lot of people come and mm -hmm. go and uh, mm -hmm. be on our campus, but nobody's really ever come there specifically saying, I wanna see what it looks like. Exactly. Do I wanna go there? And this is our first opportunity to get anybody who's a rising junior mm -hmm. or a rising senior mm -hmm. on campus to participate. So are you talking to the area coaches like Coach Charlie Ward, BT? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Had to yeah. My shout out. Look at yeah. Washington alone. No, all the coaches in the area, I was able to get out and visit them. The NCAA mm -hmm. has certain rules where mm -hmm. you can only do it certain time of the year. We did it in mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. I was able to get to every coach in Santa Rosa County, Escambia County, mm -hmm. Okaloosa County, and then mm -hmm. up in, um, you know, Alabama. And like I said, all our co the two coaches that I have, mm -hmm. we tried to cover that whole area that I mentioned earlier. Cool beans. Wow. Now I'm understanding this isn't your first rodeo. You know, you've learned football from your dad, who was mm -hmm. actually in the NFL. Yeah, Dad played 13 years in the NFL and then coached for about mm -hmm. 15 years oh, in the NFL. Oh, wow. <laughs> what so, team did he play for? We played for the Baltimore Colts. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, and so before they moved to Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so, so I'm hearing he held a record that hasn't been broken yet. No, and we, we really don't think it will be. He holds a record most interceptions mm -hmm. uh, by a linebacker. He has 37. Wow. Ray Lewis Ooh. got close. 
-hmm. I think Ray was in the low 30s, so every mm -hmm. time there was a passing situation, we'd mm -hmm. wish Ray to go out. Mm -hmm. We wanted Ray to stay healthy, but our brothers and I were very excited. <laughs> <to talk. laughs> I love it. It's really exciting to have football at UWF. Never mm -hmm. been done before. Mm -hmm. But you know, there was a hard decision to make, and some people, I think, were a little bit uncomfortable with it. They thought it would change the university, mm -hmm. you know, or, or have questions about the funding. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't understand the funding streams between academic affairs, mm -hmm. athletic affairs. Mm -hmm. You know, do you want to speak to that about what makes you excited, the reception you've had on campus, mm -hmm. and maybe Dr. Kelly, you could talk about a little bit about how the funding sure. works. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll speak from the side, just the enthusiasm, the excitement, and the energy that we have gotten mm -hmm. just in the community, people wanting to support it, people excited mm -hmm. about what we're doing. Uh, and on campus, every place I've ever been, whether it's in the cafeteria for lunch or going to visit a different apartment, or, uh, you know, I, I've spoke with most of the deans about the academic aspects of each thing that we're trying to sell to the recruits. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing but great reception. Mm -hmm. From the funding standpoint. <laughs> <laughs> the money man. Well, and, and I'll tell you, when you've had a history, we're about to turn 50 mm -hmm. as a university, and, and that's a really important date mm -hmm. because we started off as the sleepy college in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and in fact, until recently, people thought we were located about 150 miles north of downtown Pensacola. <laughs> right. It's like 12 uh, for the that's record. It. Yeah. Yeah. So w when you start adding parts, mm -hmm. there are always going to be questions right. about mm -hmm. how are we adding parts, you know? And, and I've encountered alums who graduated in 69 who still remember when the South Side dorms didn't have bathrooms. <laughs> right. Wow. Well, yeah. we added well, bathrooms. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they have bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. But in a, in a state university, the money that you spend for one thing is a different color of money than the money you spend for right. another. Yeah. For instance, WUWF money is is money that, that, that couldn't go toward football. It, mm -hmm. It's not the way state yeah. budgets work. Mm -hmm. We have one of the top Division II athletic programs mm -hmm. in the United States of yes. America. Wow. Mm -hmm. We don't talk about it enough in this yeah, area. Yeah. Yeah. Go on YouTube and look up UWF athletics because yes. they've got some awesome videos. Mm -hmm. of the tennis team just won the national yes. championship. Yeah. It's really fun to watch. So, And if they have any more questions about how it's being funded, I know uh, back a few years ago we had the Creating Bright Future. We had the Creating the uh, future that's right. campaign that's right. um, that we hosted a lot of things with so that's a, where a lot of the funding comes from as well. The funding streams for all of the athletic programs are kind of paid for in the same modules of money and and our athletic director who I will note last week was recognized by the NCAA as the top division two athletic director wow. in the United awesome. States yeah, that's that's awesome. that. is also an accountant. All right. <laughs> It's been awesome to see the community step up with the jersey mm -hmm. program, you know, get your position funded, mm -hmm. see it. It sounds like there's been a lot of support. Yeah. And if we want to know more, if we want to follow UWF football, what should, where should we go? GoArgos.com. Okay. That's nice. Right. Right. Yes. It's been awesome having you guys on the program today. Mm -hmm. Coach, we can't wait to cheer on the yes. sidelines. I Woo yes. It's wonderful having you on. Blab and Gap. New episodes every Tuesday morning at 11. Only on Blab.